Hi again folks, okay now in this video, what would I do as general manager of the Buffalo Sabres with our current roster? Coming up. All right, a little fun video. What I want to do in this one is if I was general manager of this team, which direction would I go with everything that we have signed, unsigned, and so on. Okay, so let's take a look at this and have a little fun. Now, what I've done is I've kept 13 forwards, six defensemen, one goaltender. So that means I have 20, okay? Right now, I have 20 on here. Let's go over them quick. Skinner, I have at 5'11", 195. There's a reason I'm pointing out the weights and the heights. Tuck, I have at 6'4", 220. Thompson at 6'7", 215. It's funny, you know, because a lot of... A lot of websites say 6'6", 6 6'7". 6, 6, I did the research on his centimeters. Uh, Krebs, 5'11", 180. Hayden is 6'3", 215. He's unrestricted, okay? Gergensen, 6'2", 211. Akposo, 6'2", 216. Middlestat, 6'1", 199. Cousins, 6'3", 183. Jankowski I would keep. There's too much potential not to keep this guy. Six foot four, two twelve. He's unrestricted. Uh, also, Quinn is six foot one seventy six. Paterka is five foot eleven, one ninety two. And Murray, if I didn't mention him before, rounds it out at six foot five, two thirty six. Next would be the blue liners. Darlene, six foot three, one ninety three. Samuelson, six foot four, two eighteen. Fitzgerald's five eleven, one eighty five. Yoki Haru, 6 foot, 195. Owen Power, 6 foot, 6, 214. And Laxanen rounds it out at 6 foot, 1, 172. And then UPL would be the goalie I keep at 6 foot, 4, 190 pounds. He's a restricted free agent. Now, what I've done, uh, I've also on the, the other, when I flip it over, you're going to see what I've done is I've, um, I've given bump uh, raises on Hayden. Jankowski, just at a million. I think that's realistic for these guys to stick around with their numbers and everything. And UPL, I bumped them up to 1.6, okay? I figured that's about right. So what we have so far, with these 20, 13 first rounders, two second rounders, three third rounders, one fourth rounder. That's 20 out of the 23 roster, okay? The forwards cost 32.4 million, the defensemen 12 million, and the goaltending so far 1.6. Let's flip it over. And guys kind of have a vision of what I like in a team and the way I would build something. Now, this team is currently 472 years old. I rounded it at 492. Right, I gave every player an extra year, okay? because it's going to be next year, and instead of me just nitpicking and going through like each, I just throw on 20 years. It's going to be a bit less. I'll explain that in a sec. So they're currently 472 years old. I rounded at 492 for next season. Now get this. This is, this is the way I see it, okay? And it doesn't mean you guys have to agree, but it's the way I envision a team. We would be between 24 and 24 and a half years old next year if we did this with those 20. We would be the youngest team in hockey. We're currently the eighth youngest team. If we did that, we would be the youngest team in hockey. We would be six, point two, uh, six foot two point, well, six foot two, uh, 21, say six foot two, it's 2.1 inches tall. It's 6.21 feet tall. Six foot two, just so you know. Let's just get rid of the one, all right? Let's stop confusing it. Six, point, uh, six foot two tall. We'd be the tallest team in hockey if we did this. We'd be exactly 189.22 centimeters. Right now, we would be the tallest if we did this. Right now, we're the 26th tallest in the league. We would weigh 200.85 pounds per player on average. We'd be the ninth heaviest team in hockey. And currently, ah, I didn't mark it there. I know for sure though. Currently, 
We are 20th in that department, so I'll mark that in. Currently, we're 20th. 20 players, $46 million. We will be the lowest paid team again in the NHL with even more cap room next year. We need 15 million to get to the floor. So I would go unrestricted. I would look for one forward, one defenseman, one goalie, one of each, okay? We would spend between 15 to 20 million. I'd be aggressive. I would go out and I'd get really some, something as good as I can, as good as money will take me. I would go out there and I would look for three big pieces to put on this young team next year right there. And it would not hinder us, just so you know, for 23-24 season, the 2023-24 season, it wouldn't hinder us doing this because there's going to be a bunch of other contracts unloading and things like that. And it would hurt, but not if we got the right pieces. Then we work around it like every team does. So that's, that's, that's kind of my vision, guys. I would, uh, I would make this team. There goes my dog again. I would make this team the youngest in the league and the tallest all at the same time. And I'd put us in the top 10 in heavy at the same time as well. And I'd make sure our first rounders are up and playing no matter what. And yeah, so we'd be the youngest team in the league. Mostly here would be young. This is where I would say the most important free agent would be, guys, would be right here. Because if you look at these guys, I mean, they're all pretty young, right? I mean, this is a young defense. So, and it's only a $12 million defense too. Keep that in mind. So a lot of this mathematically would work. And no matter what, you got to figure if, if there's no way to figure out how, okay, coming back to this, if there's no way to figure out how to squeeze in and be aggressive in free agency when we're 15 million under the floor in this season, when we have all those first rounders and we're currently doing this with our squad, I'm doing something wrong then. Because this for me is my vision of the team. You're gonna ask me where certain players are if they're just not there anymore, they're gone. <laughs> that's, that's it, they're gone. I don't hate them, but they're just not part of my plan to win a Stanley Cup eventually. Now, do, are all these guys our Stanley Cup team? No, of course not. But this is a good place to start. Being the youngest, the tallest, and one of the heaviest teams in hockey is a really good place, especially the tallest. You know, you want to be a, you want to be a big team. And you know, when we're six foot two average, no team in the NHL is 189 centimeters. No team. Right now, we would be the tallest team in the league, provided we don't go out and sign guys that are like five foot eight and stuff, you know, that, which wouldn't make sense. It would kind of defeat the whole purpose, unless, unless you got a Marty St. Louis out there, that's different. But to go out and get guys just because they can rush the puck and they're small, no, that's not my vision of a hockey team that's gonna succeed eventually. It's a team that's gonna be a filler in the NHL for a long time. Most of the, most of the teams that are very successful in this league, guys, are big, are big teams. You know, not, small teams usually don't win Stanley Cups. They just don't. And for me, that would be the first thing I, I would do. I would look for the youngest. I want to get young again. And we could drop our age. By the way, we're, we're, it's like 26 and a half. It would drop to about 24 and a half in one year. It might go up a bit. It might not. Don't forget, I added on 20 years to that 24 and a half. You know what I mean? So... Depends who I go out and get. I probably would go out and get free agents that are like 27. Not guys 35, if possible. Unless it's a guy like Latang, then that's a different story. But right now, this would be my objective. Youngest, tallest, heaviest. Strive towards heaviest. And the reason we're t the tallest but not the heaviest, because we're the youngest. Players fill out, it takes years before they fill out some of them, right? Somebody that's 201 now will be 220 in four years time. They fill out these guys as they work out and as they get bigger and stronger and you know how it is, guys, you know how it is. So that's it, that's my, uh, that's my vision, guys. I don't know, what's yours? That's my vision, that's how I build a team. Without a doubt in my mind, 
I would go with these things right away. That's the things I would attack. I want to get young again. Doesn't mean we got to be young forever, but it does mean while we're young, I want to still be the tallest team in hockey. Then I want to become the heaviest eventually. Things like this. Like, let's say a guy like Dustin Bufflin, if he was still playing, that's who I would, that's who I would try to get on defense. A guy like that on this team. Call me crazy. All right, guys. See you in the next video.